What's going on y'all? Eastern Network here today. Today we're talking about for beginners whether you should pick a wrist strap or something more modern, say like a thumb button. Um, honestly, if you're going to be a beginner, I would probably go with something more like a wrist strap release. Um, personally, it's just more safe. Now, uh, I had a couple comments the other day think, saying that I should always have a, a cock feather and a, just an arrow just when I pull this back. I've been doing this for a long time, so I don't worry about this too much. So I know, you know, that it won't go off. But anyway, should you or should you go with a thumb button or should you go with a wrist strap release? Personally, if you're a beginner, uh, I think this would be safer, much safer. Uh, I've used one of these for 20 years. Never had a problem, negative discharge or anything like that. Um, do I think it's more accurate? I honestly don't think it is as accurate as, say, something like a thumb button. Like this Ultraview UV button. I really like this thing. Um, it's it's really nice. So, I've just uh, been shooting it about two months-ish now. And uh, it's just, it's solid, man. Um, it's just, you put it like that. Put your hand behind this. Make sure y'all can see that. Um, pull it back like this. Tilt it back. It's not going anywhere. So, I've not had any problems with it. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Um, this, uh, at first, you'll feel like your fingers hurt a little bit if you're pulling back heavier poundage. It takes a couple days of shooting, and that goes away. Um, this, uh, you can adjust this and uh, it has a certain effect. You can either go heavy on this thumb button or you can go light. Um, I personally have it a little lighter and so when I shoot off, it um, it's just, I don't know how to guess say it in a sense, but I like to put my ride my finger on it and in a sense, when I have my finger, I'm just pulling back and it just goes off. So it's, I like that part, but I will grab, I'm gonna grab this uh, wrist strap. When I have my hand on the wrist strap, you're, you're really just, all you're doing is you're pushing and pulling and just all of a sudden it goes off. Personally, I just, all those years I shot it, it's just it's that nostalgia of having one of those. When you're pulling with those, it's, I just, I don't know. I just, for me, it's always felt like this thing was just a little bit too, I don't know, just long, maybe. And then when I reached past it, when I had it a little bit um, too loose, then I'd reach past it, and then I have to go back, and it just is never, never good. And I, I tried different releases over the years, and I just, I never could get comfortable for myself. And so, I just finally, I decided once some better releases came out in the market, I really liked this one on the UV button over there. No, is this comfortable? Absolutely. With the, with the wrist strap. I like that. But the UB button is way more accurate, in my opinion. I've, I've grouped 10 times better. So if you're a beginner, in my eyes, go with the wrist strap. Learn the functions. Um, and then after probably, after about a year or two, um, or depending on how much you shoot, I would start edging into it probably go with 150 160 dollar um b3 archery something like that i heard those are really good and then ease into something you know really expensive like that the ub button that's that's going to be the highest probably or a stand or carter wise choice those are good releases too um but other than that i may not have the most highest end bow but 
I can tell you, with with these pieces of equipment, these things shoot tight. Um, this is definitely a Cadillac compared to the old Bear Assault that I had last time. So I killed a deer with it though. So now hopefully this is going this is going to kill a lot of deer with this thing. So I've also pondered about putting a little dot for each animal I kill with it. So, but anyway. I hope this was fairly informative. I know it was a lot of just chattering, but uh, going back and forth, I really didn't prepare for it, but just thought about it. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Peace, y'all.